Disney tag. There are a lot of questions, so let's just get right into it. Your favorite movie. Um, I have five, and I can't choose between them, so don't ask me to. Tarzan, Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast, Wally, -E, and The Lion King. Walt Disney World or Disneyland, California? Walt Disney World for sure. I know Disneyland was Walt's baby and uh, it is very special for that reason, but as far as park experience goes, Walt Disney World all the way. Favorite character? This is going to sound a lot like my movie list. Tarzan, Pocahontas, Wally, -E, Simba, Belle, Quasimodo, I could keep going. <laughs> what was the first movie you saw in theaters? 101 Dalmatians, which came out in the 60s, so I think there was some sort of re-release in the 90s. What Disney item do you collect? Recently started collecting all of the records, the picture vinyls, because uh, they're amazing. <laughs> Favorite Disney song. <laughs> this is going to be a playlist, are you ready? Colors of the Wind, A Whole New World, Proud of Your Boy, which is from Aladdin. It was cut from the movie, but then they added it into the Broadway show. Such an amazing song. Be Prepared, the best villain song. Nothing will ever touch it. Basically everything from Tarzan, but if I had to pick some songs from Tarzan, um, Strangers Like Me and You'll Be In My Heart. Basically everything from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Belle, the song Belle. The Gaston song is also fantastic. Out There from Hunchback, also Someday from Hunchback, which is from the stage show. Someday is an Esmeralda song, you can find it on the cast recording. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful song. Part of your world. You know, we could be here all day, so I'm just gonna cut it off there. Well, hello! I actually went ahead and made a Spotify playlist. If you'd like, you can find all of my favorite Disney music linked down below. Carry on. Favorite ride at the parks? Spaceship Earth and Rock and Roller Coaster. The slowest ride and the fastest. Actually, not really. Test Track is the fastest. Oh, and the teacups. I love the teacups. I love to spin. Expedition Everest. Oh my god. One of my favorite feelings is backward and up this steep, steep incline in the dark. It's, it's amazing. What would be your Disney dream job? I actually accomplished that which is such an amazing thing to be able to say. Well, technically I always wanted to be a 2D animator for Disney. Uh, they don't have a 2D animation department anymore, which was very, very soul-crushing. Still makes me upset, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm healing. But I was able to go to Walt Disney World and become a character artist in the parks, so I worked in the Epcot gallery drawing Disney characters all day long in the old 2D animation style, which I'm not going to pull that down, but this is basically what I did all day. Just got paid to sit there at an old school 2D animation desk and draw characters all day long. I did that for about two years and I loved it. I met some amazing people, made some great friends. It was completely a dream come true and I'm so, so thankful for it. I did leave, obviously, but I don't have any ill will toward Disney or anything. And I just left for some other opportunities. Park care Character you can never miss out on meeting Gaston. Don't you dare miss out on meeting Gaston. It is the best experience you will have. And he might make you angry, but it's worth it. <laughs> He's the best. I have the best interactions with him. Your most treasured Disney item. Definitely my name tag with my one year pin. That is very treasured. Also, my baby blanket that uh, has baby Mickey and friends. Poor, poor thing. It has seen better days. I could not sleep without this blanket for, uh, I think, a decade of my life at least and obviously I still have it. I keep it beside my bed. A voice actor you would want to meet. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I have definitely always wanted to meet him. Your favorite non-classic Disney movie. The movie I'm going to say is a classic but I just feel like it's underappreciated and that is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Disney took such a risk with that movie. It's very dark. It's very different. It doesn't have the typical happy ending. It is not appreciated the way it should be. <laughs> if you could say anything to Walt Disney right now, what would it be? There's nothing I could say to express my gratitude, so thank you, we'll just have to encompass it all. I would also want his opinion on current Disney movies and business decisions Disney's making, what has become of the Disney parks. He never got to see the Florida park, let alone all the rest of them all over the world, and more so than saying something to him, I would want his reaction 
to all of this modern day stuff. Your favorite snack at the parks? Mickey pretzels, the best. Favorite parade or show? I'm not a parade person. I just think they're kind of long and a little dull, but my favorite show at the parks would have to be Beauty and the Beast, which is at Hollywood Studios. It gives me all the warm fuzzy feelings. The Lion King show! Oh my god, what was my issue? Animal Kingdom was just like not in my brain. Festival of the Lion King is stunning. You have not lived until you've seen those tumble monkeys. Carry on again. Flounder, Sebastian, or Scuttle? This is such a random question. Sebastian, what a crab. <laughs> He's so grouchy and I love it. <laughs> Your favorite Disney memory? Watching Beauty and the Beast live all day long in the rain. <laughs> when I was either three or five, we went to Hollywood Studios and all I wanted to do all day long was watch Beauty and the Beast and my mom did that for me. <laughs> there are shows periodically throughout the day. We went to every single one and there was a pink, shiny pink raincoat with Belle and Beast on it and I wanted it more than anything, but you know Disney, it was ridiculously expensive. So my mom said, no, you don't need that. And then it started to pour and I got the raincoat. <laughs> and I'm just so thankful to my mom for enduring, I think five shows of Beauty and the Beast in one day, paying all that money to watch Beauty and the Beast all day long. <laughs> That's something that's so special to me. Beauty and the Beast has always been a favorite, favorite movie. There was just something about experiencing it live that was so incredible to me. And to this day, I still love to see that show. It never gets old, clearly. Do you have a favorite pair of Mickey ears? Yes, I have one of the hats with uh, my name on it and a tassel that I got when I graduated graduated from my internship. Also, the golden um, headband like this, but they're golden ears for the 50th anniversary. They are the best ears. Not only beautiful, but they don't hurt my head. Every other headband like this hurts, which is typical. Headbands always hurt my head, but those golden ears do not hurt. I forget that they're there, and then I go to sit in the car and knock them off my head because I just completely forget I'm wearing them. A forgotten princess that you want to see in the lineup. I'm saying princess because I I want to say Esmeralda, who is not a princess, from such an underrated movie, as I've said, and she is the most fantastic character and she gets no love from Disney, from anybody. It really saddens me how overlooked she is. Also Jane. I would like to see more of Jane. Again, not a princess, but a scientist. It would just be fantastic to see more of her around. Favorite Disney soundtrack? Tarzan. My favorite score is The Lion King. That Hans Zimmer music mm, gets me every time. I also really love to listen to the Wally -E score. Genie, Abu, or Raja? It has to be Genie. Favorite restaurant at the parks? Be Our Guest by far. I hate restaurants in general. I don't like eating out. I'm very picky about my food. Restaurants are just kind of uncomfortable and embarrassing for me. I just hate restaurants but Be Our Guest is the most fabulous eating experience you could ever possibly have, even if you just go there for the atmosphere and the dessert, which is pretty much all I do. It puts you right into the castle. Gorgeous, I can't even describe it. How did you discover Disney? Well, as I showed you already, Disney's been in my life for a very long time, literally since I was born. What is your first stop when you get to the parks in the morning? The Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. That's another favorite ride I should have mentioned earlier. It's like a baby roller coaster but it's so much fun. At Hollywood Studios, I run to Rock and Roller Coaster. It was nice, but it was easier to get a fast pass. Now it's all messed up and it, it annoys me, so <sighs> anyway. Favorite iconic Disney moment? Pocahontas standing on the rocks. So gorgeous and she's so powerful. Saddest moment in a film? <sighs> when Simba finds Mufasa, snuggles up under his arm and he's trying to wake him up and I'm gonna start crying, so let's move on. Best Disney kiss. I love Tarzan and Jane's kiss. She throws herself at him and then she's like, oh, oh, what did I just do? And he's like, oh wait, come back, I like that. It's so cute. And I think Anna and Kristoff have a sort of Tarzan kiss. I love that. <laughs> Which world would you live in? Frozen, without question. The Frozen world is gorgeous. I love winter, I love snow, I love ice skating. <laughs> Favorite villain, Scar, Gaston, and I think the evilest villain is Frollo. He is the evilest. Scar is the most fabulous villain with the best song. Gaston is 
you know, an idiot. But he's also, in a way, I think, among the most scary, sexist, very full of himself, very judgmental, to the point where he becomes dangerous. And that's very scary. That's a very real world issue. Who has the best sidekick? Anna and Kristoff, absolutely. <laughs> also, Moana. I love Pua and I love her stupid little chicken. I keep seeing Eeyore looking so sad over here and I forgot to mention him in my favorite characters. I'm so sorry, Eeyore, I didn't mean to forget you. <laughs> if you had a Disney themed party, what would the theme be? Again, Frozen, the most beautiful world. My mom actually did throw me a Frozen themed birthday party two years ago now, I think. It was the most beautiful birthday ever. Are you the only Disney obsessed person in your family? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lumiere or Cogsworth? Lumiere. Although as an artist and an art history lover, I very much appreciate Cogsworth's Baroque joke. <laughs> I hope they include that in the live action. Who is your favorite prince? If we're talking prince in the strict traditional sense of the word, Beast, also Aladdin because he becomes a prince a couple of times. <laughs> but my favorite men, just guys who are not princes, Tarzan and Kristoff, even though Kristoff probably does become a prince. Favorite princesses, Pocahontas, Belle, Moana. What is your favorite hotel? Art of Animation and Port Orleans Riverside. Would you honeymoon at the parks? I have notes here where I wrote down all the questions and I wrote lol no. Absolutely not. I want nothing to do with Disney parks when I get married or honeymoon. Mm. My honeymoon will be in the remote Scottish Highlands among the puffins. Puffins not people. Your favorite Disney clothing item to wear? This. Dalmatian shirt that actually came from Target. I love it very much. I wear it all the time. Also, this jean jacket that came from the NYC World of Disney, which is now closed. This jean jacket has a gold rhinestone Mickey on the back. I forgot something very important here as well. What is something you would add to the parks? This is a power I would like to have. Well, here's one thing that needs to change. That Stitch attraction in Tomorrowland. It's the worst thing I've ever experienced. And when I was doing my internship, I worked in Tomorrowland and I had to run that Stitch show. It is the absolute worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. Not the, the work itself. I actually liked working in there because I just got to stand in this dark air-conditioned room, but the actual show is just atrocious and Stitch is such a great movie. The theme song is literally Hawaiian roller coaster ride. That couldn't have been any easier. The movie hands you an attraction and you're just like, no, give Stitch a better ride. Mickey or Donald? I love Mickey and he is the boss, but I gotta go with Donald. Donald is so overlooked and underappreciated and he's so angry. I really understand him. And also Philhar, oh, the Philhar Magic Show. I forgot to talk about that. That's also a favorite show. Mickey's Philhar Magic in Fantasyland is fabulous. It's a 3D movie kind of experience. Donald is a star of that, even though it's called Mickey's. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things to do. That's a must, must do every time I'm in Magic Kingdom. And finally, what movie has a special place in your heart, even if it may not be your favorite? Dalmatians. I had a Dalmatian themed room for many years. My mom did my whole room up. Dalmatian canopy, bedspread, stuffed animals, the works. I was Dalmatianed out. And that is it. Those are all the questions. I could talk about Disney forever and I probably did. And let me know if you want a video more about my experience working for Disney or tips for getting into Disney or anything like that. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye! The frozen, frozen, mm-hmm. Frozen did do, um, excuse me.